Hi YouTube, we are back. Today we finally had the chance to look at NHL 24. EA released the trailer with a lot of information. Probably all of you already saw the trailer live. There is a lot of changes. Let's break it down and talk about every single new addition. And what do I think? Also, let's talk about the bonus and when the game is actually coming out because the trailer, I don't think, actually have that information. But obviously, I'm here to share that. So let's jump into the video and break it down. From non-stop pressure and physicality to dynamic new ways to attack, EA Sports NHL 24 brings it and so much more. We couldn't be more excited to show you what's new this year, including a suite of new gameplay features that up the intensity, authenticity, and connectivity of the game. 15 seconds, we already saw way too many new features. I cannot wait when we'll be able to actually play the game and try them all out. But let's talk about what is new. First things first, the cross-platform matchmaking was already confirmed by EA, but let's have a look how it actually looks and what it can deliver. Crossplay is here. Now, you can finally compete with or against your friends on same generation consoles. This vastly improves matchmaking quality and shortens wait times, so you and your crew can make the most of your time on the ice. We all knew about cross-platform coming to NHL 24 in World of Challenge Hockey Ultimate Team because that's something EA already confirmed last week. But there is something new, something we didn't saw in NHL franchise ever before, and it's called Exhaust Engine. Exhaust Engine lets you feel the intensity of hemming an opponent in the zone, forcing you to make strategic decisions like choosing to establish puck possession or attack on the rush. Exhaust Engine is made up of the sustained pressure system and the goalie fatigue system. Basically, a complete revamp in NHL 24 gameplay experience. It will reward us with extended offensive events and time in the zone. The more you are in the zone, the more you're shooting, the more you're hitting, the more you're attacking, the pressure will build. It means it will reward you with more goals, your opponent will make more mistakes, your goalie will be tired and it will just create more moments as in real hockey. I think it's a good addition if it will work. The downside of it, I think the puck rugging may be a thing. So let's say your opponent is doing the puck rugging in the zone, skating around because he is in the zone. And if the zone time actually counts, that may build the pressure and he may score goals without actually attacking. Let me know, guys, what do you think about the pressure system? Because I think it will be a fun feature if it will fully work. Obviously, we need to try it out when it will be in the game, when the game will come out. But I'm so far positive. The sustained pressure system rewards extended offensive events such as shooting, passing, and checking in the attacking zone, as you can see with the pressure gauge. The offensive team will gain a boost in stats due to the adrenaline effect, while the defensive team gets a decrease in stats due to the pinned effect. This change makes real hockey plays effective. The dump and chase can be used to wear down the opponent and retrieve the puck. Full pressure strategies, like peppering the goalie from all angles to tire them out, are now effective and cause authentic goal scrambles. And cycling the puck to build sustained pressure opens up new opportunities to attack the net. On the defensive side, you now have to choose between making the safe boards and outplay or risk turning the puck over in the slot. The next huge thing, in my opinion, is goalie fatigue system. We were all complaining in NHL 23, NHL 22, NHL 21, and as far as I can remember, how stupid the goaltenders were. They were not making saves, the goals didn't make any sense. So pretty much a sustained pressure system, goalie fatigue system works in the same way. We've also added the goalie fatigue feature, adding over 50 new goalie animations, including a brand new desperation save package. Goalies will now tire as you increase attack zone time move the puck around, and most importantly, get shots on net. As a goalie tires, they'll make more errors, causing rebounds and absolute chaos in the crease. The more you are shooting, the more you are around the goaltender, the more you are pressuring the goaltender, his stamina will go down. It means he will be more tired and he will let more goals in. If his stamina is full, it means he's more focused, he will do more last minute saves, and in general, he will play much much better also as you can see they added a lot of new animations so that should improve all the goals we were letting in last year to be fair we spoke to the developers we actually showed them a lot of glitch goals a lot of information was being given back to them from nhl 23 so they promised that they're working very hard to improve on almost every single glitch goal from last year hopefully it will change this year the next huge thing is a physics based contact i personally love the physical element in nhl in a video game, in a real sport, I think it makes playing the game and watching the sport more fun. I'm not about the injuries, but I'm more about just the big hits, breaking the glass and doing all the fun things. EA fully changed the hitting, so there is like a lot of new ways how to hit, to avoid the penalty, to break the glass, 
and to do all these features. Hopefully, truculence will be nerfed because I can imagine the new hitting meta with the truculence that will be disaster. We probably will break the glass every single game. Take the body, take the game. The physics-based contact feature revolutionizes checking in NHL 24, bringing more physicality to the game and ramping up the fun and authenticity of defensive plays. Now, if you land a big check, your opponent will re-enter the play slower, creating more turnovers and counterattack opportunities. But if you don't connect, you'll be left out of position. This really increases the risk-reward factor and makes gameplay incredibly exciting. Landing a clean, solid check on the opponent will result in new physics-based and animation-based reactions, creating tons of new wow moments in every game. A quick push on the right stick will allow you to shove the opponent, creating quick puck separation with lower penalty risk. Plus, we've also introduced a new gameplay meta that adds a dedicated reverse body check control. This allows the puck carrier to protect the puck with their body to impactful effect. And to make all of that even sweeter, you can now send players into the bench and break the glass. The next thing I'm not so hyped about at all. It's fun, there will be a lot of cool TikToks and a lot of cool content, of course. But knowing that everyone can score a Michigan, between the legs will now be a thing and like that suck flips will just be so easy with just pressing one button. So yes, you heard it right. You can now score a Michigan perfectly timed from the right position by just pressing one button. Same about between the legs and everything else. Technically, if you have a pro controllers, you can map them so easily that your back buttons can just be Michigan between the legs and the gameplay will be just so fun. Obviously, all of them needs perfectly timing. It doesn't work every single time. I personally tried it when I had a chance to play the game. You can score Michigan when you're in the practice mode. When you actually play against the real people, you have to defend and you have to perfectly time it. But still, I cannot wait when 11 years old will score a Michigan in the first Rivals game on the day of release. Total Control Skill Moves introduces a whole new control setup that makes highlight reel moves more intuitive and accessible. Button back moves give you more options, but timing the play right and reading the ice will be the difference between success and failure. However, if you prefer legacy controls, you'll still have that option. Plus, a new ability to fake, pass, or dig out of every move. The next thing is something I was actually expecting EA and NHL to introduce already much, much sooner, because I'm talking about vision passing system. Knowing how broken the passing is year after year, this should make a big difference and make the passing more authentic and more accurate. Just imagine, you can win a face-off and make that accurate breakaway pass. It's a game changer. Obviously, it will not work every single time, because if there is a player between yourself and the guy you want to pass, then it may not work, because obviously he's there for a reason. So it will actually make a huge difference. If you will aim to the boards and to the player, it will make the passing very, very fun. I did that a lot in the practice mode when I was practicing the breakaways. So I think you should really enjoy that. Let me know what do you think about the vision passing system? Are you using it in any other sport games? Because I'm very curious why we still didn't have this in the game until like this year. Vision passing puts tape to tape play with your teammates at your fingertips offering quicker direct passes to keep puck possession and mount that all-important pressure. By mapping the controller's face buttons to your teammates, vision passing doesn't just allow more efficient passing, but opens up different opportunities like disguising a pass on a PP to set up the perfect play. This also unlocks stretch and breakaway passes, giving you new ways to attack the net. But hitting the correct button alone won't guarantee a perfect pass. Gameplay components and player attributes all factor into a successful play. Plus, we've added one-touch passing, which lets you quickly move the puck around the ice by tapping the pass button as the puck is in transit. Altogether, this creates so many more exciting passing opportunities and ways for players to get creative on the ice. This year, EA wants us to control the goaltenders more, not only in World of Shell, but also in Hockey Ultimate Team. So they fix the human goalie controls. So what I can say about it, I personally tried to play one game against the CPU where I was controlling the goaltender. It is much, much easier now to get back into the net in the right position. Previously, it was causing like a lot of inaccurate decisions when you was trying to get your goaltender back in the net. It was going from one side to another when technically all you want him, he moves out from the center and he goes back in the center. So this year they did fix that. I don't know, guys, obviously I don't play World of Shell a lot. So was that also a thing in World of Shell? But in Ultimate Team, when I was trying to control my goalie manually, it always was a thing when I was making the save and couldn't get my goaltender back on time, back in the net. So that's caused a goal. An update to our human goalie controls makes playing goal more accessible and intuitive. 
Historically, the game's controls made it easy to lose the net, creating frustrating empty net goals and a steep learning curve. So in NHL 24, we have added a new tethered control system. As you slide back and forth to make saves, you simply release the left analog stick and your goalie will auto-return back to a centered position. Almost every single goaltender made their saves based on instincts because of their experience. So EA NHL decided why not add the goalie instinct into the game. I don't know how it will work when you control the goaltenders in World of Shell or Hockey Ultimate Team, but I think this could be a really fun feature to try and maybe play in the shootout mode. So basically now you can guess where your opponent will shoot the puck. If you do, he will make a save. If not, he will not make a save. So let's have a look how it actually looks. Also added a new instinct system. This allows you to guess the location of the shot for a bonus on your save attempt. Guessing wrong increases the chance of a goal. It's a nice addition for our veteran goalies and really breathes new life into the position. Okay, and now let's talk about when the game will be available because obviously the trailer doesn't say that. Also, what perks can you get if you pre-order the X Factor Edition? Because we already know there will be an X Factor Edition. We saw the cover. So the game will officially come out on October 6th, much, much earlier than we are used to, but I'm only happy about it. If you pre-order the X Factor Edition, as always, you get the game three days early. So I'm expecting the game will be available on the 3rd of October for everyone who pre-orders the X Factor Edition. If you do that, you also get 4,600 Hockey Ultima Team coins, which means you can open quite a lot of packs on day one. Who doesn't love packs? I'm not saying you have to do it, but technically that's just a pretty much very good bonus, I would say. Also, you get a power-up icon choice pack. We are not getting an X-Factor choice pack for a change. I'm quite disappointed because I really like the first X-Factor on the day one. We are getting an 85 overall Kale Makar special card and something that didn't mention in the trailer, but we can see that if you are making a pre-order for X-Factor edition, you will also receive a World of Shell Battle Pass. Something I'm really excited about because I think every sport game should have a Battle Pass or some kind of XP reward pass. How it will look, I believe EA will show that in the future, but in general, I think it's really, really cool. Let me know down in the comment section below, what do you think about the trailer? Are you excited about the gameplay? Because I am. Again, if all these things work, it will make the gameplay experience much, much more enjoyable than we had it the years before. I tried the game, I was really hyped how all this feel, the new controls, how the hitting feels, how the passing feels, everything felt really, really smooth, so I'm hoping and being very positive, then all that will be actually transferred to the game when we will be able to play it on the release. Don't forget to sign up if still it's open for the technical test, which will be closed and we will get our codes around 21st of August. You will be able to play World of Shell and Hockey Ultimate Team and try all these new features yourself out. Obviously, you cannot make a content, but you can talk about it because obviously all these things are in the game. I hope you enjoy it and have a good one. I'll see you on the ice. Before we leave, make sure you like and subscribe because you will find all the NHL 24 content in this channel. Have a good one. See you next time.